This is heat. What's up, YouTube? Today, I'm gonna chop up a little soul sample, put a beat together, talk a little bit about how I sell beats with samples in them, how the licensing works for those. <laughs> All right, so I'm about to chop up this soul sample I got. It is a song by The Four Tops and The Supremes. So it's a classic. Let me just play it for you. I've got it all chopped up. I slowed it down a little bit. Hopefully this doesn't get flagged by YouTube. Okay. So clearly we're gonna make some fire out of this. This is straight heat. It was only me. Let's talk about how I sell my sample beats. So I sell a lot of beats on BeatStars. I put up beats almost every day, at least four or five times a week. But I don't put any of my sample beats up there. It's all melodies I've created or beats that I've worked with with other people, collabs, but I love sampling. So when I find a fire sample and I make a sick beat out of it, I'm still trying to sell that beat. Like I want that beat to be out in the world. So I'm gonna create a little drum break first and then I'm gonna play my sample over the break. Okay, let's lay down our sample. This is heat. Bruh, this is crazy fire. When I find a fire sample and I make a sick beat out of it, I'm still trying to sell that beat. Like I want that beat to be out in the world. So I put it on YouTube. Hopefully it doesn't get flagged. Usually doesn't. People still find it through my channel. And instead of linking my beat store, I just say, if you want this beat, reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter or email. And if someone likes the beat and thinks it's dope and wants to get on it, okay, I'm gonna lay down a couple of these. someone likes the beat and thinks it's dope and wants to get on it they contact me and I'm just straightforward with them I say look I sampled a record on this beat if you're gonna try and put this out there and make any 
sort of income stream from it, it needs to be cleared. So I'm putting the ball in their court, so to speak, with getting that sample cleared. And then I'll still charge them for the beat. So, yeah, that's it. All right, we're gonna create a couple more patterns. I'll still charge them for the beat just knowing that what they're paying for is my production, my uh, beat creation, and if they're going to make money from that beat that they need to contact the owner of that master. Okay, here it is. That's got to lead into something. serious fire right here. I might just make a little intro and then arrange it. Too, so I'm gonna have to lay that down.
This is heat. All right, I basically got the whole beat. Key thing to do with your beats. Label all your tracks. I always do my buses in all caps and then my instruments in lowercase. If they're gonna make money from that beat that they need to contact the owner of that master. Usually it's the record label who owns the master of the track that needs to get cleared. Because that's generally how it works. But again, what you want to do when you sell these sampled beats is put the ball in the core of the artist that's putting out the track and just be completely transparent with them, telling them this is a beat I made with a sample. You can still charge them for the beat, of course. Um, they just need to know that this is a sample on the beat and they need to clear that sample before they release the song. Hope that clears that up for everybody. All right, let's find a bass. <laughs> like the video today. I really hope you learned something. Go ahead and check out some more of my videos. I've got a lot of beats, mixing tutorials. I'm going to have some vlogs coming, talk about the way I make beats, how I sell beats on BeatStars, on Instagram, SoundCloud, email marketing, etc. Go ahead and subscribe. Click the bell if you haven't yet. That really means a lot. Helps me grow as a channel. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.